Hey guys, today we're going to go over angle relationships. And again, this is going to be a lot of vocabulary. Um, so let's start with adjacent angles. And those are angles that are next to each other and share a side. In other words, they have a ray in common as a side. So in this one, we... This is misleading because it looks like they're congruent, but they don't have to be congruent. One could be one measure and one could be the other. It doesn't matter. Um, so in other words, you could do it like that. So angle one and angle two are adjacent angles. Or just they're adjacent. In other words, adjacent just means next to. So if you were sitting next to your mom or dad, you would be adjacent to your mom or dad. Vertical angles are two non-adjacent angles, in other words, two angles that are not next to each other, and they are formed by two intersecting lines, and they are also congruent. So in this picture, we have this angle and this angle are vertical, and if you look, they kind of make a bow tie. So some people call these bow tie angles, but they're real name are vertical angles and then um, so one and three are going to be congruent and then two and four will also be congruent um, anytime that you use congruent you do not have to use the little m in other words measure because measure means that we're talking about an actual number so you just write the angle so angle two is congruent to angle four if you were writing the measure of angle one, it would be equal to the measure of angle three, but we can't say that unless we know the real numbers. So measure is only used whenever we're talking about numbers, just like equal. Congruent is only used when we're not talking about actual degrees, the measure of that angle. A linear pair are two adjacent angles that form a line and they equal 180 degrees. So in this picture, again, it's kind of misleading. They should have one, and then they should have two because they are not congruent. Um, angle one and angle two are a linear pair. But the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two is equal to 180 degrees. Because we're talking about degrees, you have to put the M in the front because we're talking about actual measures, numbers. Supplementary angles are two angles. They don't have to be adjacent, but they're any two angles whose measures equal 180. So let's talk about the difference between a linear pair and supplementary. A linear pair has to be next to each other, has to, because it has to form a line, meaning linear pair. Supplementary angles are just two angles that add to be 180. It's any two angles. Um, so all linear pairs are supplementary, but not all supplementary or linear pairs. Like these angles right here are not linear pairs because they're not adjacent. They don't have a common ray. Um, but this linear pair is supplementary because they add to be 180. So just so that you kind of understand that a little bit. All linear pairs are supplementary. And we use SUPP to kind of shorten that word because it's a long word. But supplementary angles, only some adjacent, and we do ADJ to shorten it. If you don't remember what some of these shortened words are, write them all the way out. Some adjacent angles are linear pairs. Well, I should, shouldn't say some, because if they're adjacent, they're always linear pairs. Um, only adjacent angles are linear pairs for the supplementaries. So just so that you could kind of know, I know a lot of kids will use those two interchangeably, and they're not, that's not actually true. Um, all linear pairs are supplementary, but not all supplementaries are linear pairs. So on this one, just like 60 plus 120 would equal 180. So, of course, those are supplementary angles. 
complementary angles are any two angles who measures equal 90 degrees. And just an easy way to kind of remember these two, you can remember that C comes before S in the alphabet, and 90 comes before 180. So in alphabetic order, 90 comes before 180. That's how you can kind of tell the difference between a supplementary and a complementary. Just a little trick. And then 27 plus 63 does equal 90, which makes complementary angles. Perpendicular lines are two lines that intersect to form four right angles. So just like on this picture, only this right angle is actually drawn. Um, but because that one's there, of course, with vertical angles, this one would also be 90 because vertical angles are always congruent. And then if this is a straight line, it has to equal 180. So if the left one is 90, this one also has to be 90 to equal 180. So they're all 90, but that's why we only draw one because you don't, you only need one. You can assume all the other ones are 90 given all the other rules that we just talked about. Okay, name two vertical angles. There are lots of them. Um, this one and this one are vertical. This one and this one are vertical. This one and this one are vertical. You can also consider all of this and all of this to be vertical angles. And then on the other side, we got this one and this one are vertical. And this one and this one are vertical. So pick any two that have the same color. Um, I'm going to pick the blue and purple, but just so that you're aware, there are a lot of them. So I'm going to choose angle EFG. Or you could name it GFE. You cannot name it F. Remember that. Because you wouldn't know which angle you're talking about. It can only be an angle by itself to be named by the vertex. So angle EFG. And just so that you're aware, the way that we name is you basically play connect the dots. It's angle EFG. And then angle HFI. That was a terrible eye and angle. There we go. So you play connect the dots. Name two adjacent angles. There are lots of those two. So pick two. Um, it, remember adjacent just means that they're next to. So those are adjacent. Those are adjacent. Those are, there are a ton of them. I mean, there's so, so many. I'm not even going to show you all of them because all of these are adjacent to each other and all of these are adjacent to each other. So just pick any two that share a common ray. Um, I'm going to pick... Oh, I need to be able to name them, huh? So C, E, D. And then angle D, B, E. All right, name a linear pair. There are a lot of those two. There's this one. That makes that line. There is this one that makes a line. There's this one that makes a line. There's this one that makes a line. Uh, this one, and that one. So there's a lot of them, just on the left side, and on the right side, there's quite a few as well, because there's this one. Well, I should say set. That set. That set. And that set. So pick any two. There are lots. 
So I'm going to pick, let's deal with this set just because it's an easy one to see. So I'm going to call it EFG. And angle EFI. Name two supplementary angles. So you could name any one of those linear pairs or any other set that would add to B180. So um, you can actually also name this angle and this one because they're both 90, which means that they would add to B180. You could also name this one and this one because they would add to be 180. So they don't have to be a linear pair, they just have to equal 180. You could also name any of the linear pairs. So I'm going to name those just to make it easier. But remember that supplementary doesn't mean it's a linear pair. Supplementary just means it's 180. So let's say EFI An angle HFI. Name two complementary angles. There are less of these. Both of these are complementary, but you can't name it because there's no point over here to name it with, so we can't choose those. So the only one that you actually can name is this set. So angle CBD and angle DBE. Find the measures of two complementary angles if the difference in the measure of the two angles is 18. Okay, so you have two complementary angles. You have an angle, I'll say angle X and angle Y. And they angle, measure of angle X plus the measure of angle Y has to be 90. But then you also have a difference, has to be 18. So that means that the measure of angle X minus the measure of angle Y is 18. So what are the two numbers? Um, so if you can remember back to algebra one, this is a system of equations. Now you can make it super complicated and make it a system of equations, or you could say what two name numbers could go here to subtract to be 18, but also add together and be 90. So you might be able to figure it out just using logic. But mathematically, you would have, kind of have to think about it this way. Um, so let's say you have one angle, angle 1, and it's equal to x, and angle 2 could be equal to whatever that x is minus 18. Okay? Because it would just be like moving it over. So... Let's erase all of this because I think it's just going to confuse you. You have one angle that is x and another angle that is 18 less than that. Because if you subtract them, they would have to be 18. So we know that angle 1 and angle 2 have to be 90. Well, if angle 1 is x and angle 2 is x minus 18, we still have to be 90. So this is 2x minus 18 is equal to 90. Add 18 to both sides. 2x is equal to 108. Divide by 2. And x is 54. So that means that the measure of angle 1, and yes, you need to say measure because we're talking about numbers, would be 54, and the measure of angle 2 
would be 54 minus 18, which is 36 degrees. Find the value of Y, measure RPT, and the measure of TPW. Okay, so because this is 90, and this angle and this angle are vertical, we also know that this one is 90. So that means that that yellow angle there, the two angles are complementary. So we can add them together and set them equal to 90. So 4y minus 5 plus 2y plus 5 is equal to 90. 4y plus 2y is 6y. And then negative 5 plus 5 is 0. Divide by 6. And y is 15. Um, that's one of the things we have to find. We also need to find the measure of angle RPT, which RPT is 4y minus 5, or 4 times 15 minus 5. 4 times 15 is 60 minus 5, so the measure of angle RPT is 55 degrees. Now you can do the measure of TPW two different ways. You know it's complementary, so you could just say 90 minus 55, which I actually find is the easiest way. Or you could have done 2 times 15 plus 5, whichever way you want to do it. I'm going to do 90 minus 55, which is 35 degrees. But you would have gotten the same answer either way. And that's the end of notes.